Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Believe in Your Story. I'm Christy, and we're here to help David explain gaming terms you might find in lit RPG and game lit books. Hey, where's David? Are you joining us? No. I don't think he likes his costume. Please. Fine. Hi, I'm David Peterson, and I've got angst. Most lit RPG and game lit books are based on role-playing games. RPGs are adventure games where the player embodies a character who travels through an imaginary world, fighting monsters and completing quests. These games involve a large amount of storytelling, as well as puzzle solving, character building, and social interaction. Sounds like a great place to start for writing a book. Let's talk about our characters first. Lit RPG and game lit books often have stat sheets. Games like World of Warcraft and New World display them like this. This is what I get? This doesn't make it better. Now we're talking. All players have a pool of health. This determines how much damage a character can take before dying. Mana is the resource required to use magical abilities. If a player doesn't cast spells, they typically have a different pool of energy they draw from. If you run out of health, you die. If you run out of mana, you can't cast spells. Depending on the game or the book, health and mana can regenerate over time. Health and mana are typically based on other stats. Health is usually based on constitution, and intelligence contributes to mana. Strength determines how hard a warrior can hit. Rawr! Dexterity contributes to speed and often if you can make a critical strike. My arrows do more damage if they hit a monster in the eye and less if someone takes an arrow to the knee. Everyone gets armor, which helps protect against damage. The type of armor you get to wear is usually determined by the character you play. Warriors typically get plate so they can take a beating. Wizards wear cloth because it's easier to cast spells, but they aren't well protected. Melee characters rely on close range combat to do damage. Ranged are damage dealers who attack from a distance and tend not to get involved with direct confrontations whenever possible. A race is an intelligent species like elves, dwarves, orcs, and gnomes. I love gnomes. A new character starts out at level one. One of the main goals of players, or the main character, is to gain levels. Higher levels means access to better armor, weapons, and new abilities. What if I want to be level two or a hundred? You need experience. Experience is the resource that allows your character to level up. It can be gained from killing monsters and completing quests. As you fight monsters, your XP bar fills up until you hit your next level. Quests are missions that players get from NPCs. An NPC is any character in the game that is not controlled by a live player. NPCs usually exist to provide flavor and quests for players to do. Examples include innkeepers who give you information about places to go or things to do, vendors who allow you to buy and sell items, quest givers who give your character quests, and trainers who teach you new abilities. Characters can solo or join a group who share experience and loot with each other. Loot is treasure like gold or weapons that players can win by killing mobs or completing quests. Give me that fat loot! Crafting is another way to get better armor and weapons. In some books, the characters progress by making better stuff. Crafting takes time because you have to farm for resources like mining ore to make weapons and armor. Who has time to craft? Are we ever going to kill monsters? Yeah, I'm ready to kill. Yes, it's time for battle. Woo! Yes! Right after we explain a few more terms. Uh. Mobs are stationary monsters which are fought for quest objectives or treasure. Mobs can respawn after being killed, which means they come back to full health after a period of time. A class is an archetype, 
which defines the way a character fights and how strong it is in different areas. Classes also determine your role in group play, like tanking, healing, or damage. It's the tank's job to draw aggro. They try to get the attention of a hostile NPC. That way everyone else can attack without having to worry about being attacked themselves. Wizards are range spellcasters who can use different types of magic to deal damage. Rangers do a lot of range damage with arrows, like Legolas in Lord of the Rings. Rogues do melee damage because they stand close and they get stabby. Healers are capable of healing both themselves and party members. They usually focus on the tank or the warrior. Hey, that's me. During a battle, both sides take turns attacking. We attack with a spell or ability. The amount of damage we do is determined by that spell, our stats, and any bonus our weapons might give us. Some of that damage is deflected by the target's armor. There's a lot of math. I don't want math. I want to win a battle. After explaining all of this, I think we already won. Yeah. Agreed. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this prepares you for reading your next lit RPG adventure. Starting with interests online. Yes. Woo! Do readers really need to know all that to enjoy lit RPG? No. Can I take off the silly costume now? No. Definitely no, Wiz. And everyone wonders why I've got angst.